black women, I came to be real today. And my name is Shala Kimia. I came to be real because being fake ain't got us nowhere. Y'all want to keep coming on social media talking about how black men hate black women? No, talk about how black women hate black women. And that ain't got nothing to do with a black man. How jealous and envy and don't even know how to support and talk about each other and tearing each other down. We have problems amongst black women that ain't got nothing to do with a black man, dog. Oh, y'all don't want to have that kind of conversation. Oh, okay. Because I'm ready to have it. Because it's real. And it needs to stop. We don't even know how to treat each other in friendship and family ship. But we want to sit out here and we want to talk about, oh, black men this and point the finger at black men. No, baby. It's us. Hi, guys. Welcome to another exciting podcast. My name is Kim the Comic. Yes, back again with... The amazing, the fabulous, the lovely Johnny Tamaya, also known as the rich auntie. Straight from Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. There's that. people here. Eh? The money is coming in for John. No. So uh, we have just watched a clip. Uh, I believe you have also seen it before. Yeah. Um, the woman says mm. that most times black women always come out to say that black men hate them. Mm -hmm. They're always, because there's always these red pill channels. There's also like... Are, are you a red pill guy? Could you could you first clarify that before we, we get into this? I don't really want to Do you to hate subscribe. women? What? Please. Do you hate women, Kim? What? Why would I hate women? No, I'm just asking a genuine question. Do you hate women? That's no, yes I don't no. hate women. In oh, fact, oh. if I could have like four women. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I don't hate women. Mm -hmm. My point is... Some women think when men come out to tell them things they don't want to hear, they think that they hate them, they, they don't like them, like the likes of Kevin Samuels, mm. you know, sometimes or Shay's channel. Mm. Hey! So, yes, and this woman has come out and mm. said that you guys are actually your own problem. Um, You see, the, the, I have an issue with that because I don't... I, human beings in mm. general... No, don't, don't, uh -huh. sometimes can fail to support each other human beings in general can be envious so her saying oh it's just it's the issues with the black women not supporting each other even black men are not supporting themselves sometimes i'm just saying okay before before you get to the typing in the comment section mm -hmm. i'm just saying you understand i don't feel i don't i feel like it's the it's a direct attack to the women don't one you thing think i'll so? say is black men supporting each other that that obviously back then has not been there. Mm. But in recent times with like the development of YouTube and social media, more men are coming out to support men, yeah. giving advice to men mm. about different things mm -hmm. financially, relationship wise. So the support for men and men content Only. has has really improved. Mm -hmm. But you see the different the difference I see between men and women is if I go to a, a, a guy for advice mm -hmm. and he tells me, Hey, you don't dress nice don't work hard enough you don't do this enough oh i tell you that all the no, time no 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 no, john first shut up <laughs> i tell you that all the time <laughs> if, if if a guy tells you that to mm -hmm. a fellow man mm -hmm. there is a way a, a man will receive it mm -hmm. it may hurt him but he'll realize that what yeah this guy is actually saying the truth even if he'll hate the person who tell, told mm -hmm. him but he'll realize that yes this this is actually the truth yeah but the thing about women is when you mm -hmm. tell women their faults and their problems it's always a point of oh you hate women mm. you hate this mm. you don't give women a chance to, to do their own things like why is it that you guys always look to the defensive when something is being told to you about yourself that could be actually true that needs to be changed i i um i like I, oh my god that was actually sensible kim for the first time that was really really sensible well done are you reading some books <laughs> yeah, Hand clap sound effect. <laughs> anyway that, that was actually nice in all honesty mm. but when you pose that question do you pose it in a way of I, I, is it, why I don't like the fact that you only want to look at one gender. You, it's like saying, oh, you're saying, oh, bros, uh, like men or men support each other and all that, but women get defensive. The men will also get defensive. I tell you certain things and you want to fight me, don't I? We're not going personal in this sport. <laughs> it's not about Kim and John. Today anyway, we're talking yeah, about yeah, okay. let, black let's, women let's, not supporting, not let's, not supporting each other. Let's give a more general question. I just have a question to ask you. I'm sorry. Could you, you didn't answer my question. Why do women, mm. wh when men tell you, yeah, I'm getting your to that, issues, Yes. Why is it? Why does it always come to the fact that the man doesn't want the best for you? He actually, just hates women. Yeah. Why don't you look at it as constructive, constructive criticism? criticism? I understand, but I just have this question. 
with all this content that's coming out with O'Shea and Kevin Samuels, um, big ups to them. They're, they're great entertainers and they're great uh, content creators and mm-hmm. all that. Genius says they're good at that game. They're killing it right now. I understand. Mm-hmm. But with all this male content coming up, do you think it has benefited the man or are men now more lonelier and hoey than before? Uh, sometimes, John. <laughs> we do things to get out of situations. Okay. So, with the more... Uh, women empowerment has come about you know more women are becoming more educated they're mm-hmm. getting more resources unfortunately on the bad side it has made a few should i say big-headed <laughs> like they, they forget their roles Bruh. as women in all this what are the roles of women ha- if you, yo, yo, if you guys are going to sit here and say men are supposed to provide then i'll tell you that women are supposed to be submissive I, and i won't i won't feel apologetic about but, that but because you have no shame when you're saying men were born to provide for you guys but right? submission from a woman comes from a man who leads yes that's what i'm saying your role is that but some women Forget I about like all that. When you speak of roles, you just want women to stay in the kitchen, Kim. <sighs> you're, you're forgetting my point here. Mm-hmm. I'm saying with all this, some women have become... Some women just want to be men. Let me just be, make it clear. Some women just want to be men. Mm. They, they, they're in a competition to be men, which is so sad because... Let me tell you the honest truth. We can never be the same. Definitely, we can never be the but same. But women with a few PhDs and mm. a few degrees feel like, yeah, now I can do what a man does. And then when you, the person you're dating tells you certain things that about you that could not be right, like maybe, mm. hey, like I said this, but you just keep talking back at me all the time. Mm. Could you like, you know, just mm. calm down a bit and not yeah. make it always a competition? Because at the end of the day, anywhere in life, there's no equality. That's why there's a boss. Is an employee. Mm-hmm. That's why there's a husband and there's a wife. And even the Bible you guys claim to be Christians about. Respect your husband. Why, why do you, that's, you say people claiming to be Christians? Yes, because Christians. there's a lot of hypocrisy going on. Everyone, Everyone oh, is a sinner. Jesus is my love. He did this yeah. for me. But when it comes to things about what is what, what the Bible says about a husband because and wife. Because they're human and, all they of a sudden and they're sinners. They're what? human and their sinners. Anyway, to answer your first question about why sometimes women get defensive when certain things... Honestly, yeah, for sh- there are women who do get defensive when um, they are tried to be corrected. I do get defensive sometimes in the comment All section the time. when someone is trying to maybe give me you know, something that could help me out in the future. I've obviously grown... Why? Is it because you feel like no, they're oppressing you? No, it's not about being oppressed. It's just mis... I don't know. Personally, for me, when I get on the defense, I feel like I, I don't like the approach someone used because it's how you approach me. If you approached me with that tone and I feel like you're attacking me, mm. I'll by all means defend myself. Mm. But if you if, if someone came to me and was like, oh, hey, by the way, I say this with love. I say this with understanding. I say this and I want you to grow. Mm. Da, 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 da. You understand? But if you come like, oh, this, 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 I'll just be like, oh, okay, now let's, oh. you understand? So but you that's saying? just for me. But then other women also, they're just defensive because, I mean... Sometimes, you know, we grow up with our parents, you know, telling us we are all this and all that and our mm. friends telling us we're all this and all that. And then when you have someone telling you, oh, you're actually not that and that. Sometimes, yeah, you do it get you like really yeah, bad. It's like, oh, oh, my God, you mean to say I'm not I'm not that? You understand? <laughs> so it's like a shock. And that's why mm. some women do get defensive. But I feel like we also, we, we're going away from the whole topic with what the lady said in the video. If you actually watch no, she was talking about how most women yeah. think black men hate them. Yeah. The, that's another topic for another day. We shall get into that because I'll bring my receipts. What? But I also agree with her that women. Uh, let's, I don't know, let's get a bit personal. In my life, I'm all about women empowerment. I'm all about, you know, power to the women and all that. But I can also say that the reason I am where I am has also been. Con- the reason I am who I am and I am where I am is because of men. Yeah, the men in my life have contributed a great deal to who I am. The men in my life have nurtured me. The men in my life have taught me certain things. Tell me about those sandals I bought you yesterday. Oh, please. You've never bought me anything She was in walking life. barefoot when I found her. You've never bought me anything in your life. But that's just to say, um, uh, when I grew up, I felt like, oh, our, our big sisters or the women who are older than me were supposed to be doing much more. I know that's being a bit entitled, but I feel like they were supposed to be doing much more in terms of talking to us young girls, in terms of guiding us. I went through so many things and I felt alone because I felt like these girls were older than us. 
were not telling us they were not guiding us you know and i know that that um someone can say oh you're entitled and you have to figure out life on your own but me as joanita if there's i have two young girls that i mentor and every time they have they come to me with questions and whatnot i will gladly answer them and i'll keep talking and i even use such platforms what like advice do you give them like, give, give us an example <laughs> like let's not just talk no, here on the surface no, yeah, what yeah. do you tell fellow girls when no, they look for, for advice example, she was asking me about she was going to intern at a, a big media house well she was just going back and forth mm. and saying it was a viable option for her if she could go to the other side if she could stay there and then i was telling her she could like stay ahead and you know okay. go ahead you okay. understand but i feel like when i was starting out even now you know even now even you know i traveled recently and then there was a that oh here we go again <laughs> no dubai then, uh-huh. and there's a girl that i could uh, i did talk to a few girls and then i could hear that tone and it's like oh you went oh you traveled it's like it was a bit envious it wasn't like Oh, I'm glad you 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 know you did that or something like that. I'm glad you. And, and it can was I a tell bit you? Envious, you know, like you you're, you? you're not happy for me. How does me going out affect you in any way? Can I tell you why there's more men talking about women's uh deficiencies mm-hmm. nowadays mm-hmm. in terms of relationships? It's because you guys failed yourselves. I'm sorry. This, I think this that's is why a bit general. This is why more men came out to start speaking about women's deficiencies in relationships and in life because you people failed yourselves. Let me tell you no, how. I Let me tell you how. You guys always tell yourself the nice things. You tell yourself delusional things. Like, no, you are queen. You deserve better. You did this. Oh my God, that man. But you never tell yourselves your own deficiencies. You never tell yourselves, oh, but hey, you say he did this and this, but why are you doing this in the relationship why are you uh, doing this it's always the man's fault when you guys are talking to yourselves yeah. that's why men felt like you know what like we're done with it. like we can't keep being blamed for things yet women are out there doing the dirtiest of things but because they are women and they want to be told nice things mm. we should not say anything but mm. that's why all this came up that's why i believe the the black manosphere came up and started talking um, about all these things first of what all do you have to say about I, I want I, i i would like an episode alone where i just talk about the black manosphere because well. i have my own issues with them anyway back uh, back to the to what you're why talking about why don't women about. tell themselves the truth no, let's uh, let's first start yeah, there yeah but it's also the circle you keep around yourself you know if your friends are just liars and they lie to you in your face maybe you need to change them you know you need to get around people who are just going to tell you they're going to tell it to you like it is can i get into your business oh my god don't john there's a time uh <laughs> you ask people for advice on your instagram uh-huh you're actually asking them i don't know what you're asking them then some girl told you how her man did this and this this and this and then you were quick to say leave that man you deserve better because you did the this. man cheated what was yes, she supposed but to do did you ever be objective and ask her like what really happened like why do you think it happened how was like that's what i'm talking about there is no genuine do you know why d- i gave that do you know why i gave that girl that advice because i knew what the guy and i knew what he had done so oh. don't don't do on you What? So I knew the whole story. <laughs> and do you know what she had done? Yeah. She told you everything she had done. <laughs> yeah. We're, and, we're and, going to get into each other's business. Let's anyway. not do that. Yeah. But me, no, I told her that, no, listen, I, you have to get around people who will tell, who will tell you the truth. You understand? Mm, true. Because, Girls, like please. your next close person should be someone who will just tell it to you like, hey, I don't think this is working. Yeah. Then it's up to you to make a decision on how you're going to do that. Mm. But let's not generalize that all women groups are just delusional and hyping themselves well, up uh, for stupid things. Well, 90% things. are delusional. No, it's not 90%. There are also men out there. You, I'm sure you have half your friends who are not uh contributing to anything in your life all oh let's go watch football well, that's, like, entertainment, that's, going to build anyone. <laughs> that's entertainment are we going to right. just sit down and not talk to anyone anymore <laughs> but anyway no, but at the end of the day don't don't make it as a gender thing i feel like one me the issue i have personally is the way people try to make it seem like oh it's only women this or it's only women that but like men also men even gossip did you know that the men who gossip and they will sit and like gossip about one girl that's a you problem john which men are you dealing problem, with but i'm just trying to tell you but it also exists so okay. let's not try to say oh it's only women who don't support women there are groups of women who don't support women then there are groups of women who support women and me saying a large percentage of my success my little success that i've achieved up to now is because of men doesn't mean that there were no women in my life to also contribute to that there were women in my life who also contributed to that you understand There were women in my life who also did Let me ask you a random question. Yes, please. Do you believe women if 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 men left everything and left it to the women to build the world? Mm. Do you think we would succeed in this as human beings? Yeah? 
uh, it would be a better <laughs> world. Be a better world. Imagine waking up and not feeling like you'll be sexually uh, harassed the next day. You know, I was going out to buy wow. sugar. Oh, let's. Put it. I was going to buy sugar last night at mm-hmm. 7 p.m. And I walked and I found a bunch of men. And do you know how nervous I was? I was like, oh my God, this is how I'm going to end. This is how I die. Why? Because it was just a bunch of men that I didn't know what could happen. So why were you going out No, I'm just trying to give you the example. So now imagine there were no men in this world. I'll just mm. be walking like nothing. I'm just trying to say. So you want men gone? I, I don't. You get it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't because there are men I love in my life ah, and I'd like them to still wow. be around. It's a very exciting topic. So I don't know what you think about uh, the video we just showed you. Mm-hmm. She claims men actually don't hate black women, but black women could be the ones who hate their own selves. So I don't know what you think about that. Make sure mm-hmm. you get in touch in the comment section. Yeah. And uh, follow Kenganda Nation on Instagram, <laughs> yeah. Twitter, and Facebook, Kenganda Nation. Subscribe. Please yeah. like the video. Yeah. Yeah, like the video. My and name. then the next topic will be how black men do not like black women. So yeah look yeah, out for yeah. that me, me i don't like someone called sandra if you're watching this it's called sandra i'm joking oh my god joke. guys thank you for watching the video uh subscribe yeah my name is kim the comic and janita maya follow me on my youtube channel janita maya and instagram janita maya see you guys kim the time. comic instagram youtube bye-bye bye